Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm continuing the preference panel. We're gonna go under Premiere Pro, go to settings. I'm gonna go to Premiere Pro drop down. I'm gonna to go to settings and we're gonna to go to our timeline here. Now, if you're on a PC, once again, if you go to edit, this will, you'll find that preference panel at the bottom of the edit drop down, And then you'll just move over to the preferences, move over and select the same one that we're working on here, which is timeline. Timeline will bring up in this preference panel here. And we are going over the options of timeline playback and auto scrolling here. So what this does right now, if you have it, the default is going to be on page scroll. So let's take a look at that and see what that does. When you're looking at your timeline, you're usually only looking at a portion of your timeline. Right here, I'm going to hit minus and plus at the top of my keyboard and it zooms in and zooms out. So if you're zoomed up and you're working on your project like this, you can also hit this backward slash above the return or large enter key and it will show your entire timeline. But once again, usually when you're working on something, you're zoomed up like this a little closer so you can see the thumbnails and see the audio that you're working on. Now watch what happens when I play. When I play, my play is gonna to get to the end of this window, then watch what it does. So let's put it right about here and watch what happens to my timeline as it hits the end of the window here. All of a sudden it pushes the view that I had down over to the left and it opens up the video footage and the audio to come later on in the timeline here. So now I can play this again. I'm gonna hustle this up, get it to the end and watch this again. Right when it reaches near the end, it gives us the next several seconds of footage to come. So that is called page scroll. If we go back to our preferences and we change this to null scroll and hit okay, watch what happens as it gets to the end of the page here. Your playhead just disappears and keeps on playing on the timeline and it keeps the same view. And then once you hit stop, it jumps to the location where your playhead is now at on the timeline. So once again here, I'm gonna mute this so I can talk through it, move it toward the end here and play. And as it plays through, it's still playing the video past my viewable space here, but once again, when you stop, it catches up. And I'm not sure why some people would want this preference. I've never used it, I don't like it. I like the timeline progressing as it plays, but there is another option for how it progresses the timeline while it plays. And that's this option here for smooth scroll. So if we pull this down, there is smooth scroll is the, is the last option here. Smooth scroll, I kind of like. I like, I think I prefer the page scroll a little bit more, but this is just another option here for the way it scrolls your timeline here. So let's play this back and I don't have to have it toward the end because watch what it does. It always keeps the playhead in the middle and it moves the timeline instead. So as I play this, it keeps scrolling down the timeline. See, and I don't, I don't think I like it because it does this little uh, graphic jitter at the bottom. Maybe that won't do that on everybody's computer, but I, I, I like the concept of this, but I think I prefer the page scroll overall but that just really depends on your preference. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching Chin Fat, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below.